I'm Robert Nelson and I'm a writer. Uh, I write about lots of things, but this, my, special, my special chance in life was actually to write as an art critic, where my special subject matter is art. Well, contemporary art in Australia is a very beautiful microcosm of what's happening internationally. Um, I think you can detect um, a proliferation of trends, uh, you know, various artists doing lots of different things with lots of media. Um, but broadly, I think what unites them is a search for the poetic. When I go to a gallery, I, I love the idea that I don't know what I'll find. So I hope in a way to be surprised. Sometimes, like if I go to see an exhibition of old masters, I kind of know what I want to see and I go there and I'm rewarded by what I see because it's what I'm expecting. With contemporary art, that's a bit different. With contemporary art, you expect to see something that triggers you, uh, probably with something that you weren't expecting to find. I think of all the kinds of learning that you could do, the learning to be an artist must be the hardest. Um, because, you know, it's not just what's in books, it's what's in your head. And uh, what's in you is your will, um, what you want to do. So you could have a teacher who is fantastic at um, rendering something, but that's not your special gift. And so the teacher can help you understand his or her special gift, but that doesn't necessarily help you with yours. Often, you know, you go to a class and the material is a little bit difficult. Uh, it's the first time you've encountered it. But over the months, maybe years, those suggestions mean more because you're then encountering material that lets you engage that content. You weren't ready for it when you first encountered it. But with the time that it takes to be an artist, that early nourishment provides you with the sustaining vision that lets you form your own vision.